Okay, in this segment, we're going to talk about fasteners and fastener locations. As you can see, we've already screwed the panel down. Now, notice that at the eave, we have two fasteners per rib. That's due to the fact that the bulk of the wind uplift is going to be at the eave. Now, the rest of the way up, you're going to have one screw on one side of the rib, as we have here. Now, if that's the case for the rest of the way, unless you have an end lap. In an end lap, you're going to double the screws as well. Now, since we're on screws, these are number 14 screws, 14 by 1. Those are recommended in plywood and OSB. Now, if you're going into a 1 by or a 2 by solid lumber, you can drop these down to a number 9 by 1. That has to do with the pullout values uh, in different types of wood. So, again, 14 by 1 in plywood and OSB, number 9 by 1 in 1 bys or 2 by solid material. Now, also, you'll see we do not have any screws at the gable end. That's due to the fact that we're going to put a piece of gable trim, which we will show you. When you anchor the gable trim in place, that will take care of the gable end. Now, another thing to think about, two-foot screw spacing. That's a standard spacing for a 90-mile-per-hour zone. So if, if you think you've got winds higher than 90 per hour or you've got uh, a building official that wants to see some documentation on spacing, we can provide that for you. Get a hold of Fab Browse Engineering Department. Okay, we're going to talk about one more thing here. The overlap. This is an underlap leg. It's got a purlin bearing leg, which is this flat part. This is the underlapping rib. Now, the overlap rib is not a complete rib. Notice it doesn't go all the way down with the flat. This is the overlap rib. Very important that you get your panel situated correctly when you start. This rib overlaps this way. You'll have a screw in here that will hold this all down, and then you continue on across. Now, we've started on the left side. We are assuming that the prevailing wind is coming from the right in this direction. You want the prevailing wind blowing over this. You don't want it blowing into this. So that's very important when you start your roof. You want the wind, the prevailing wind, to blow over this rib, not catching it. Okay, now we've got our panels fastened down, and we're ready to continue with our roof installation.